one third of all the FIFA NFTs have already sold. And some of them are selling now in the secondary marketplace for thousands of dollars. How do you sell them? Well, we're going to talk about that on today's Frugal BC. What's up, guys? Frugal BC coming at you. We are talking about the FIFA NFTs on the Algorand blockchain. Pretty crazy how a third of them have already sold. Uh, it's really good news, and we are going to dig into how some of you have asked me, how do you sell these things? Well, we're going to look at that today. Before we do that, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, appreciate that a lot. You know, we do the experiment, we try things out, and we let you know how they go, the good, bad, and the ugly. So you can always test our, can always trust our test results because we are trying to just figure out what is going on. And uh, frankly, I'm finding that out for myself too. Uh, but enough about me rambling. Let, let's look at these NFTs because there are some new options available now. Here is my collection. And what they do on your my collection page, they tell you how many you have collected and how many you have to go. I've only bought three packs so far and I've got two rares and you know I got some duplicates on here too. So so this is only seven right here. And as you can see now they've added more series that so this is the Genesis drop from series one, then they have the FIFA archives drop, and then the curator collection, South American Flair. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I've been really big on this, as you know, I think it worked really well. We tried this out about a month ago, uh, works really smoothly. Buying, you can buy them right from your Algorand wallet, as long as you have US dollar, USDCA. So it's the Algorand version of US dollar coin. And before we do that, there's also you see my collection but you also see a marketplace so you can sell them we're going to dig into that in a second uh for those of you who might be a little new to this i'm just going to go through a, a sale by buying another pack so i'm just going to go buy another pack now i already put us dollar coin in my wallet so just so you know that is that is available there but you do that really simply you just go to Tiny Man and do a swap for US dollar coin. Just make sure you get $5 worth or whatever the amount of packs that you want to buy. So the $4.99, and I'm going to buy one right now. So they get a little, if you use the credit card, they get a little more expensive. You got to do all the all the filling out of all that stuff, billing address, look at all that stuff. And then here's the transaction summary. So it's going to cost you another 50 cents if you buy it through your credit card. But if you just use USDCA, only a 0 0.001 algo. So it's going to bring up the scan, your para wallet. I'm going to do that right now. All I do is hit the scan QR code. Connects, easy peasy, purchase with Algorand wallet. Oops, got it. I confirm it on my wallet. By the way, guys, if you're using my algo and you don't have para wallet, you can actually connect your para wallet with your my algo account. I've got a video on how to do that. I will put that up above. So check that out. I don't know. I did the up arrow thing <laughs> since I'm in uh, I'm in screen share mode. But as you can see, that's been a success. And then let's open a pack. It's kind of cool, it just opens up like that, hit open pack. I think I'll get a, let's see if I get anything good. Egypt, common, I think I already have that one too. Now I'm gonna wait for that one. Oh, here's a rare, Poland, I don't have that one, so I got a new rare. Pretty cool, let's just see what this last one is, we can move it along. Oh, another rare, Columbia. I don't think I have that one either. So that that's pretty cool. Glad I got those. Uh, I'm not gonna dwell in these. Let's go check out the marketplace. Okay, so here I am in marketplace. You can see there's ones that are listed for like two grand. It's an iconic. Uh, rares, oops, sorry, I didn't wanna go there. Just wanna scroll down. Uh, even rares and commons both seem to be selling for about five bucks. 
Epic's more in like the ten to fourteen dollar range, and then it's, it's the iconics that you see going for like really, uh, really expensive amounts. But you can still sell them. Now let's see. So I haven't done this. I might have to go to my own collection to do it. I haven't gone through this. I want to. I want to come at come at this as a just as a new user and just see what happens. So let's find. Uh, I know I have a uncommon here, so, or I have a. I know I have duplicates. I'm just trying to find the the duplicates here. Oh yeah, so the Mexico one is a duplicate. All right, so let's let's sell one of the duplicates. So yeah, little window pops up called sell. I'm gonna hit sell. Fixed price, listed for five dollars. Uh, they take a five percent royalty fee, so you get four seventy five. But that's just about the cost of a pack. So, so in a sense, you're basically making your money back on the pack. And then you just hit list for sale. All right, that's all there is to it. Now it's listed for sale. Now, does it come up on here? What happens? It's in my collection until I... Yep, and then you'll see right here, it says listed for sale. So it's really that It's really that easy. Uh, I'm gonna do a short update. So that was remarkably easy and smooth. It's listed for sale. Um, and then it has a little price listed on there too. So uh, we'll just see what happens. I wanna see what happens once it sells. We'll see how easy it is. Uh, like I said, my main thing is like, if you got duplicates, you might as well sell them and recoup a little bit of your money back. And then we'll see what happens, how that money is paid out. Once it does, is there a credit on here? Or can I can I pull it off to my Algorand wallet? We'll, we'll check all that out in a future video. I just want to see how this goes uh, once I've sold it. So, and I might, I might put a couple more up for sale too. Uh, have you guys sold any NFTs? How's it gone? What, what kind of NFTs have you gotten so far? I, I've I've not gotten any Epics or Iconics. It's all been rares, but the last two packs, including this one that I just did live on the video, uh, both of them had two rares and one common, which is, and then the first one, I think the first two maybe didn't have any rares. I think one of them just was all commons. So so that's that's four packs total that I bought so far. And uh, it looks like I'll be able to at least make my money back on this one, assuming I can sell it. Uh, pretty neat. So if you buy enough of them, eventually you get enough duplicates. It seems like you could probably basically, you know, fund your fund your purchases, refund all your purchases, basically. Um, like I said, you lose a little bit from the royalties. But curious to hear uh, what you guys think about this, what you guys think about the FIFA partnership. And uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens with the World Cup that's coming up and how this impacts it, too. Anyway, I'm Frugal BC, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, I appreciate it if you do so. And hope you guys are staying safe out there. Mind your bags, hodl, and as always, I'll see you in the future.